Hey everyone, this is Jaden Haidara, aka Stargirl Fan 101, and I'm here today to talk about Eclipso and what Cindy's plan is for him and for herself. So, basically, at the end of the season, we know there was a tease to this character named Eclipso. Now, because I am flat on Stargirl knowledge, I have no idea who Eclipso is. So I had to do some background research. And on this Wikipedia page, I found this description. Eclipso is a fictional superhero and I've seen these in the universe. The character is the incarnation of the wrath of God and the angel of vengeance that turned evil and was replaced by the specter. Interesting. Now, I don't think um, we're going to see any appearance from the specter or anything because that would mean, um, you know, Oliver Queen would have to come back, but, you know, he's on Earth Prime. Originally, Eclipso was written as a generic villain with average superpowers who would routinely enact an elaborate plot to fulfill his hedonistic motivations. However, 1992 Darkness Within miniseries modified the character to be an evil and megalomaniac entity. Eclipso's character laments the power he once had as a spirit of divine vengeance. Eclipso would frequently seek to possess beings of incredible power like Superman, Largand, and Shazam to achieve his ends. Hmm. Eclipso's early comics debut is tied to his first modern host, Bruce Gordon. Named after Bruce Wayne and Commissioner Gordon as an inside joke. A scientist specializing in solar energy while in the jungle to view a solar eclipse, Gordon was attacked by a tribal sorcerer named Morpher. Hey, Mophir? Before plunging to his death off a cliff, Mophir wandered wounded Gordon with a black diamond. Afterwards, Gordon transformed into the villainous Eclipso. Whenever an eclipse occurred, a blue, gray, or purple circle covered the rightmost two-thirds of his face. Resem resembling a partial eclipse, Gordon experienced many Jekyll and Hyde transformations and misadventures in House of Secrets. During this period, Eclipso was portrayed as a conventional villain possessing super strength, partial invulnerability, and eye blasts aided by his black diamond. Eclipso's transformations were later altered so that any type of natural eclipse, lunar or solar, would cause Eclipso and Gordon to split from one another. While well, an artificial eclipse, an object blocking out a light source, would merely transform Gordon to Eclipso. Any bright flash of light would banish Eclipso back into Bruce Gordon's body or reverse the change. Eclipso returns after several years absence in the Princes of Darkness storyline in JSA as an ally of the other villains Mordru and Obsidian. Alexander Montez, cousin of Wild Captain II, vows revenge on Eclipso for her death. To this, to this end, he gathers the 1,000 black diamonds, liquefies them, and injects them into, his, into himself. All save one, which he keeps to invoke, which he keeps to evoke Eclipso. Exactly how Eclipso's diamonds had returned was unknown. Montez covers his body in tribal tattoos. With these tattoos, Montez can summon all the powers of Eclipso by triggering the diamond with his anger, while remaining in control of himself and keeping Eclipso trapped within. As the new Eclipso, he joins the short-lived team of loose cannon heroes assembled by Black Adam, which was the subject of the subsequent storyline Black Rain. During Adam's reign in oh, I'm not even gonna attempt that. I'll, I'll put the <laughs> I'll put the name in the video. Alex becomes romantically involved with his teammate, Souza Micros, the female nemesis. However, during a battle, one of Alex's binding glyphs, which keeps Eclipso in control, is broken via a shoulder wound. Eclipso soon kills Nemesis. Alex commits suicide in order to prevent Eclipso from controlling him further. 
This, this story was significant as it meant that Eclipso no longer had a limitless number of black diamonds waiting out in the world for him to utilize. This incarnation of Eclipso was never shown using any power but his eye blast. Alex's body is acquired by Eclipso's followers for an as yet unknown magical ritual. All, all of the black diamond fragments in his body are recombined into their original form. Okay, so that, that's all I'm reading. But, from what I'm reading here, it looks like Eclipso is going to be like a big bad. Now, I don't know about that um, shadow figure that we saw at the end as well, um, before the Eclipso tease. Um, I don't know if he'll just be like a, like a side villain, but one thing's for sure, Eclipso is definitely the big bad. Because he kind of reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of Rain from Supergirl, because Rain was a big deal too, and she caused some serious damage. I feel like Eclipso could do even worse, even worse damage than even Rain could. So how they're going to beat Eclipso, I have no idea. Obviously, um, with Cindy finding one of these diamonds, obviously there are, there are, there's a trend to be a lot more out there. And, you know, I, I bet you there will be a lot more out there. And so, I guess one of the plots of Season 2 will be that they have to find all these diamonds and destroy them so that they can weaken Eclipso. But, this... JSA is going to have some serious issues on their hands with this guy, it seems. But another question that is brought up is, you know, what is Cindy's role in all this? Now, I think that Cindy will be an orchestrator. Because, literally, like, since the second half of season one, she's wanted, all she's wanted to do is just kill Courtney. That's all she wanted to do. So, I feel like... She is going to use Eclipso to get what she wants, which is to kill Courtney. Now, do I think he's going to kill Courtney? No. No. And if, like, there could be a scenario where Courtney gets badly injured, because, well, all of them are going to get badly injured, but there could be a scenario where Courtney can get badly injured. And it'll kind of be like how Supergirl Season 3 was, where, you know, Supergirl was on the verge of death, and then, you know, she spent basically the entire next episode just um, reconvening and recovering while the team go and try to get rain. I think that that's um, how that would be if that were the scenario that was given in this instance. So, yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on it. This guy seems like a crazy villain. But, you know... I can't wait to see how they execute it. So, yeah. I'm Jaden Hadar, a.k.a. Stargirl Fan 101. Saying, peace.